Hi world, welcome back to my channel, The Makeup Phase. And for those who are tuning in for the first time, welcome. So today we are doing, of course, another kooky DIY. And this is a avocado banana hair mask. So why would I want to combine this, these two things? Well, they are really, really awesome for your hair. So who doesn't love bananas and who doesn't love avocados? We love them to death. So combining them gives you a nice, really, really rich, nutrient-packed mask that's gonna also help put in protein back into your hair. And then it's also gonna leave it nice and nourished. It's going to be very hydrated and it's gonna have this wonderful shine when you are done. So it only takes about 15 minutes just to sit in and it's super easy to make. Again, it only requires two products. So it's only the avocado and the banana. So yeah. <laughs> so you can see here, I definitely have it in my hair. So you can see little pieces of avocado. I do recommend, depending on how you want to do it, you can definitely throw it in like, um, a food processor or a blender just to get it really really like grinded up and maybe it may be a little tad liquidy but that's okay because you can just use as you need um if you have longer hair definitely use a little bit more than the recipe suggests um so like for me i used a little bit more because i have longer hair so it requires more so again you can adjust it per your hair length, hair thickness, so on and so forth. But it's super easy and it doesn't take very long. And again, it's a super affordable mask that's gonna bring so much nutrition back to your hair. So yeah, you wanna find out a little bit more of how to really put it together, continue watching. First and foremost, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and sharing is caring. So let's get started.
Okay, babes, so we have finally washed out the mask and look at this curliness that is happening right here. Um, so there was a lot of little pieces to get out of my hair. I do recommend throwing the banana and the avocado into like if you have like a little food ninja or something like that just to kind of break it a little bit more down um it may, like i said it will be a little bit more liquidy so if you need to put it in like a little dispenser or something that's fine too or you need to like put your hair over something and just kind of throw that rinse into it that's perfectly fine as well um but just as a warning, you will have these little pieces that kind of get stuck in your hair and you're gonna have to like really make sure you're, you're you will probably comb them out later on. Um, but overall, like it was a super easy mask to do. Um, that was my only recommendation is I would highly recommend throwing it into a like food processor kind of thing. Just to kind of break it down versus like doing it with a fork. Um, you can do it if everything is all ripe It'll break down a little easier but i feel like just to save yourself some time throwing it in there just kind of liquefying it a little bit and then just kind of pouring it over your hair um overall like you know my hair feels very healthy um i was able to just wash it out like normal again since i had did it at the fork i had all these little pieces that i had to get out but <laughs> other than that it was really really easy to do my hair does feel really soft. It feels like it has like the natural oils that ne it needed to take in. If you wanted to elevate this mask a little bit more, I would suggest doing um, two parts water, one part apple cider vinegar and just kind of spraying that out ahead of time. Let it sit like 10 to 15 minutes and then adding this mask and it will just open up the hair follicle to allow all those nutrients to really go in. Now remember, because this is adding a protein back to your hair, time of how long this is in your hair is critical. So try not to go over the 15 minutes. Like set a timer, leave it in, and then it's time to wash it out. But until next time, babes, bye.